Hello, this is Mrs. McGrath, and I'm going to show you today how to do a Google Drawing. This is a great way to do a quick, easy uh, JPEG or PNG if you need a digital file um, to share, which is what um, the middle schoolers and high schoolers will be doing for your poetry book that we're creating. So um, if you know how to do this, great. If not, here's a tutorial. So to get to Google Drawing, you go to your drive and you go to new and Google Drawings. Go ahead and label your drawing. I am actually going to uh, type up a cat poem. So I'm going to title this cat poem. Actually, you know what? It's a haiku. So I will say cat haiku. All right, my cat haiku is about a cat sleeping soundly. So I'm going to search for an image or background that I like. You don't have to insert an image here. If you have your own artwork or you just want to make the background a color to, to make it visually appealing, that's fine. Um, but we, we do want uh, the poetry book we're making to be visually appealing. So um, choose something, whether that's an image or background or a file, an image with your own artwork. Just because um, I'm trying to do this quickly, I'm actually going to just choose an image from Google and I'm going to choose an image of a cat sleeping. There's so many cute ones. Um, oh, this one's super cute. I think I really like this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click that image. I'm going to maybe crop it just a little bit to make it more square. And um, size it so that it's a little fits in my frame a little bit better. Now, the next step, um, I've got my image, so the next step is to put in my text. And so to do that, you're going to click text box, and you're actually gonna draw where you want the text. I think I want my text here. I don't want it to go over his ear though. So I'm going to go ahead and put my text there, and I'm gonna type in my text, and I'm gonna call it the Kitty Haiku you're going to think of a much better title than that for yours. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I put my name on this because I am the author and I'm not really fond of this font. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the whole thing, uh, center it, make it look a little nicer, and choose a font that's not not crazy, but that fits kind of with the with the with the image and with the feeling that I'm trying to um, give. I think I might also underline the title and maybe space my name out a little bit. Okay, make this a little bigger. 24. Oh, that's a little too big. That looks pretty nice. Now you could just leave it like this if you want to. Um, the other thing you could do is if, um, if you'd like, make this a little bigger, you can fill the background with um, another color. So you would just go to the fill button and maybe I want to fill it with like a light purple or something like that. You can do that. Um, of course, you can always change the font color as well, or the text color, excuse me, maybe make it white. Um, so there's different things that you can do there. This is very basic. There are a lot of other things you can do in Google Draw, but this is, this is good for what I, um, what I want to do now. So then I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to Download, and I'm going to download either as a JPEG or PNG. And I'm going to try that as a PNG here. And it's going to give you the option of saving. So you're going to want to save it to one of your files. And then it's all done. 